welcome along to part two of the definitely not Las Vegas vacation. So we're in Stratford upon Avon, staying at the Mercure Shakespeare Hotel. It's been here a year or two. Show you around. Some lovely little alcoves for uh, having a drink. Main reception. Have a little blast on the old Joanna, should you wish. The current Mrs. Jones. Looking radiant. Yeah, nice little place, man. It's like he's got conference rooms and all sorts of. Oh, hello. It's a bit burlesque. Everyone likes a leather studded wall. What's a weekend away without one? Okay. Not sat in this chair yet, but um, it's good to have goals in life. And yeah, the Bellagio, it is not, but it's nice. Wave, Sal. There you go. Hi, again. So as we mentioned, we are, um, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, great. So as mentioned, we are in Resort World. We said we might come here, didn't we? So this little snippet is just to sort of do a comparison with Victoria Gate in Leeds versus Resort World. There's also in the video now, we've learned to do a few slightly different things, not clever things. And I hope our seven or eight viewers of this video enjoy the small little bits we've done to make it, um, Oh, let's be honest. It's no, it's shit. It's still shit. We appreciate that, but bear with us. We're gonna Thank get. We're trying. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna try. This one's a slight improvement on just some rambling bullshit from a chair in a Leeds Although hotel. Oh, yeah, we are rambling. Well, yeah, but this is only a small piece of it, isn't it? So there's some other stuff that wraps around it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Stratford upon Avon. We went there, and there's a little some still images maybe and some video of that, which is cool. But the purpose of this. I sound like Boris Johnson, <laughs> the purpose of this. Just slam your yeah, fist down. Yeah, absolutely. Get to work, don't get to work. Um, 
The purpose of this is to give you a bit of a comparison between, in our eyes anyway, Resort World and Victoria Gate. So, um, Sally, what, what did you think of Resort World? I love it here. I, I love it. And don't, I, I absolutely adored Victoria Gate and that whole experience in Leeds. Um, but I just feel like this, this is just more my cup of tea, to be terribly British about it. Um, I love it. One thing I would say is it's really quiet here, um, which in some respects is nice. Parking was not a problem. Mm. Um, we did the VIP parking. We were able to check into the room at 11 o'clock in the morning. I mean, how desperate must we look? Um, yeah, clawing away. <laughs> can we please come in? Um, and We've on. got five pound free play, <laughs> don't you know? Let us in. Um, but the, the, the girl on reception, Samantha, was very, like, she, she didn't treat us as desperate people. She, she was very, very nice. Um, very courteous, easy check in. The reception area smells like Margaritaville. It does. In fact, not just the reception, but it some really of the common does. areas here as well. That makes us sound like we're desperate to cling on to anything Vegas related. Which we which are. Which we are, but I swear down, the reception area and the sort of lift area here smells like Margaritaville. Tell me I'm wrong. It's Come to Resort World, Birmingham, if you've been to Margaritaville Casino in Las Vegas, and tell me my nasal recognition is out of kilter. You won't say he's wrong. I made him walk out of the um, communal area to come back into it so he could smell yeah. just how right I was. You that did. It's identical to my Anyway, to down to the anyway, casino. I'm all about the smell. We've done, we've done the, the hallway at the hotel to death. To death. It's a nice hallway. Mm. Not gonna lie. Um, so yes, check in, beautiful. The hotel is gorgeous. Reception is lovely. It's the whole decor here is is very it, it feels more did you Vegas. miss the bit where i said down to the casino yep so um i was going to come up to the room and then go down to the casino i'm going to go to the casino now um the casino itself felt more las vegas as well i would say it felt more plush and that's just my opinion um i think that's fair no disrespect to the victoria gate but i think that's fair no i love the victoria gate there's there's less there's less slot machines here, but it doesn't feel like there's less slots here, which is a really weird thing to say. But in Resorts World, they have the Perspex screens between every slot machine. So no slot machine yeah, is turned off. Yeah, nothing's turned off. Which, sitting at home, I probably would have thought, if I'm honest with you, that that's not for me. I wouldn't feel safe because we have been kept in a bubble for a very long time and everything freaks us out. It does. Um, I'm sure it does for everybody. But actually, sitting at the slot machine... Felt safe. Felt fine. Absolutely felt fine. They've, they've done it really nicely. So even though there's less, it felt it felt like there was the same. Um, a really nice selection of slot machines. Yeah, we got treated when we got in. We were playing a little bit of free play that we got from the hotel reception desk. We were both genting? Genting? Genting. 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 We we're both genting members, but we got some free play from the hotel. Mm. And then some little gadget who was a legend, by the way, called mm. Steve, who was a slot host. He swooped Steve upon us. He obviously realized that our slots needed hosting, mm. which was nice of him to, to recognize that. And um, he got us onto an app called the My Genting app, yeah. which we need to flag because you need to download that. That oh, sounds like a PR now, doesn't it? But do download it. You know. Get it if you've not got it, because um, within 15 minutes, no, not even that, within five seven, minutes, five minutes, we have 60 pounds between the two of us, yeah. just from like, downloading take, stuff, all we needed to doing do challenges. Was, oh, we didn't need to do any challenges, you just collect mm. from being. Yeah. It's, so thank you, Steve, the slot host thank here. Thank you, Steve. You're and amazing. Um, yeah, with that, with that, well, we started off with a free play and then we left in the afternoon about a hundred up, didn't we? We did, yeah. which is great. And thanks to thanks to what slots? In the afternoon, I want to thank. Um, it wasn't Twin Strike. I know that for sure. Get me started on Twin Strike. And um, I had a really good win on Elephant King. Yeah. Which dragged us back. Yes, she out did of actually. Ether. Yes, yeah. And I had a bit of a win on Solar. Something. Solar disc. Solar disc. Yeah. We should know this well because we sat and watched Gina win four, 
thousand pounds on this machine. Mm. Um, yeah, I, we didn't win four thousand pounds. We're not Gina. Jesus. I think it's Solar Disc. It mm. wasn't four K that we won. No, for sure. But we were very happy with. Anyway, it. Anyway, we hunted up this afternoon. Then we kept, then we went for some food at Pizza Express. There might be some footage of maybe not Pizza Express, but some footage of Resort World generally. Mm. Um, but we came back to the room, got changed, had some food, and then went back gambling this evening. And how did we do this evening? We did all right. Yeah. Well, well, actually, no, we ended up okay. We Yeah, we nearly didn't do all right. Oh, until the last 30 minutes, we were going to come back to the room not. He wouldn't have been happy. I would have just been really grateful to be here. Um, and had a lovely time. I say, no, we weren't doing very well at all. I say thank God for the 10 o'clock curfew because for those of you that have been in a, in a casino during this sort of weird period we're in in the UK, it really changes your behaviour in that last hour. So in that last half an hour when we were quite substantially down, I wasn't just chasing, I was chasing at a furious <laughs> at pace. Speed. Like an angry... <laughs> American lady in you know some some downtown casino just bashing away can't wait for the winds to come through and yeah in that little mental 30 minutes that we had we ended up turning our evening round so I think it went from what would have been about 180 down to being about 30 up this evening which is a big swing yes. in a 20 minute period with blisters on your fingers from smashing hell out of this uh, repeat bet button on some I don't know but it works. Machine. I'm not going to say we're going to do it again because I, mean, I can't do it again. I've got it, repetitive strain injury. <laughs> if it went wrong, that's a lot. It's a lot of money to lose. Yeah, we yeah. We upped our stakes to something that we wouldn't normally play. Yeah, till the geezer grabbed and me and said it's ten o'clock. You. It got was to go. quite literally. You know when you don't wait for the actual spin to finish before you. Oh finish. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we looked really desperate in hindsight. More desperate than usual. But we came away and we were up. So. Yeah, we were. So Resort World, recommend it. Yes. Um, I would. Uh, is, it, is it worth you guys from Scotland or down south travelling up here? I'd probably say, yeah, it's, it's a great location. It's, it's dead UK, easy to sure. get to um, off the M42. And um, if you're within an hour or an hour and a half of this, you could come here for you know just an evening or easy. an afternoon potentially. But there's something nice about coming back to the hotel in the evening and not having to worry about traveling straight after you can have a drink so um yeah really recommend it fantastic we couple of weeks off work um not been vegas but it's been but it's been close fine. enough right it's been fine we'll go in april all mm. being well that's when we're rebook for so yeah and we'll try and do some more videos now we've got the hang of this after four years we've eventually got our asses in gear with a youtube mm. um page to compliment the the Instagram uh, Las Vegas couple, which we'd love you all to give us a follow on that as well. Got some fantastic contacts from uh, from Vegas on that Instagram account. Mm. So uh, thank you for those of us that have, those of you that have been um, with us on that for the the last couple of years, and um, we continue this magical mystery tour of YouTube. We'll probably put something together, maybe some old videos we can splice we've together. We've got so much, we've got so much footage from over, we've been obviously going to Vegas for years and years. Um, yeah, we probably won't do that, we'll probably just sit in front of the camera and ramble about some shit that you won't be interested in, because that seems to be our bag. But we're trying to like get it all together and maybe do some top highlights of stuff that we've done. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just something to get us through until we can all go back, I guess. Yeah, this is like... Um, it's like therapy for all of us. It's a little bit like therapy. Stay strong, brothers and sisters. But anyway. Right, we need to wrap this up. We'll be back. Don't we? We're done. We do need to wrap this up. Go steady. Go steady. So good morning, we just thought we'd sign off. Um, it's the end of our two weeks that should have been Las Vegas, isn't it? It is, well, we've got a few days left at home. Yeah, yeah, we're just about to leave Resort World. We're gonna pop in and see uh, my brother and sister-in-law and his little little boy. So um, that's a nice little treat for the way home. But before we do, we just thought we'd um, just share a few things that came to us last night that we, we forgot to include in the, the summary mm -hmm. from the hotel room. So um, yeah, a couple of things we missed up. Yeah, one game which is new to us, I'm sure it's not new to any of you guys, um, but it was flagged on, on the machines as being new, uh, was uh, Volcano Queen. Um, some quite decent features on there. We had a, a decent little win, both Did of you? us. 
Um, so we did keep going back to that one, of course. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Mm. Was there any other machines that we played? I can't think. Well, I think we played a few machines, but I can't think. The one thing that, that crossed my mind when we did the video last night that I forgot to mention was, um, again, we talked about the hospitality and the courtesy and resort world, mm. but the difference um, or one key difference with Victoria Gate, which was um, a bit of a game changer for us, and it's so daft, but it means the world to us, was, was the drinks policy. <laughs> so you could get your drinks and kind of walk around anywhere you wanted to mm. within the casino, which I think we, we said on our previous uh, inaugural video that um, that was a bit of a ball ache in um, resort in sorry in Victoria Gate. Just and it may well be the same in other casinos yeah, as well. It may it's well just be. that we obviously we're comparing it to that because we went there yeah, last week. It's our only reference point. Um only reference point in the UK right now underneath the current restrictions. But mm. yeah, it felt a lot more um, comfortable. So we could we went into the bar which again was was really nice, the sports yeah. bar there. Um, again service fantastic. But yeah, not a problem. You take your drink wherever you want to go to, inside, outside. Um, and a no couple of deals on as well, didn't they? Two Coronas for six quid or yeah. Estrella, I think, could be switched out for that. The prices so were really good. Decent prices. So every time the waitress came around, it was just like six quid for two nice bottles. And um, yeah, you could wander about with them. And for the smokers out there, there's a beautiful uh, little smoking deck at Resort World. It's even got some machines they've kind of conjured this outside not <laughs> Inside, outside, outside area. Thing. Yeah. so it was really weird to see like slots with ashtrays next to them <laughs> <laughs> it felt a bit more like vegas but but yeah if um if those things being able to walk around with a drink and indeed having a, a slightly nicer bigger area to smoke in is your bag then uh, another reason to come to resort world but that's kind of it i think yeah it is and we've had a chance to, to have a proper walk out it's a, it's a sunny t this morning um mm. yesterday it was quite rainy so we didn't really venture out too much but it's really it's peaceful and i think that's probably because it is so quiet we're next to the nec that is i think shut effectively yeah. at the moment there's yeah. nothing going on um which in some respects is is really sad we get it that's the time that we're living in right now um but at the same time for us we wanted a bit of relaxation and we've we've really got it here um so no it's 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 wonderful i i really can't wait to come back yeah definitely definitely can't wait to go to vegas either though right oh my god i can't wait to go to vegas so then, roll uh, on roll on next april but for now we'll wish you all um a pleasant uh, day whatever you're doing and uh, yeah we'll put something together when we get back home so go steady go steady